I'm Patricia Robbins, born in Jamaica and raised in Africa. My father was very heavily involved in politics. My mother and he, they were not married, so he took my brother and I and uh, migrated to Ethiopia. I ended up living with the royal family. Emperor Haile Selassie was the last emperor of Ethiopia. He's known to be the bloodline from King Solomon. So it was almost like heaven on earth. And then communism took over and we had to flee. So I went from all the things that you could possibly um, ask for as a child living in a palace to um, the streets and nowhere to be. My brother was rescued ahead of time. My father and I ended up in Uganda. We would sleep on the streets, sleep in a police station, until one day we met an Ethiopian family. I fell in love with the people that we met and just asked to stay with them and they said yes and my father uh, came back to get me and I was not happy and he was not happy. He was uh, very physically abusive so um, he punched me out and the people saw that and they did not like it. I would pray a lot and ask God if you are real um, you have to rescue me from this situation, from this man. One day, those Ethiopian people who witnessed what he did, they heard him, and he never came back, he never came home, and when he did, I hardly recognized the man. He was disfigured, and I broke down crying and asked him, please, let's go back home, because I don't know anything about home, but please, let's go back. So we started on a journey back to Jamaica. I didn't have a relationship with God. I didn't understand anything, but always prayed during those times, you know, God, if you're real, show yourself to me. When we got back to Jamaica, we were living with my grandmother and um, she funded school for me. When I arrived at school, I had a very strong British accent and I was the new kid that came from Africa. Among those students were my cousins and I did not know them, but they would in turn go home and they would share the stories that they were hearing. One of my cousins um, shared with her mom, hey, there's this African kid, this new kid on the block and she just came back and she told her my name and all of this and it was my aunt. And my aunt said, oh my gosh, that sounds like my sister's kid. My aunt came to the school, spoke with the principal, and asked to speak with me. She asked all the questions, and she goes, oh my gosh, you are my niece, and I know where your mother is. And uh, my mother immediately came to Jamaica to meet me for the first time. Now I'm reunited with my mother, and here I am in the United States of America. My brother, Clifton, and I also reunite because he was already in the States and he went to church and he goes, hey, come with me. So it was at this church where people would stand up and, you know, tell their story, how good God was. And I was sitting there thinking, what did God ever do for me? And the moment I had that thought, it was as if God himself pierced my heart and he gave me a snapshot of all the places, all the windows, every place that I called out. He showed me, like a film, like a movie. You remember when. That's where my faith began. I met my ex-husband in Oklahoma. We got married, and this is where his family was from. So um, this is where we came that marriage no longer exists, a broken heart, seeking God, and kind of stayed to myself a little bit. As I was driving, I saw the sign for Great Lakes Church. I went there and I honestly felt, I felt like I could be me. But here I am, like four and five years later, I have a great job, I have two beautiful children. Jesus, he's amazing. I could never deny him because he's absolutely real in my life. He put 
different people in my life at different times to rescue me every single time. He's at work. Without the birth of Jesus, there's no hope. He brings all of that. Just when you think that there's absolutely nothing left, Jesus steps in into every aspect of your life. He knows your heart. He knows where you're from. He knows where you're going. He knows where you're at. He sees you. And he's able to do whatever it takes to get you to him.